Nobody else has done that. Let me explain to you about DDT technology. And a lot of you guys haven't heard this before in the past uh, because I got a lot of new people. That's how come I got to go over everything. And this is the reason that I did this. Whenever I was talking, this is something that senior softball bat reviews came up with about 11 years ago. And the reason we came up with it is because we were like a bunch of engineers that got together when I had senior softball bat reviews, but we came up with this design on a bat and uh, me and Billy always talked about it. Me and Bubba talked about it and everybody always talked about it on a uh, well, wet badass. If somebody built a bat like that, well, I didn't know I was going to be in the position that I'm in right now. So what I did about three years ago, as I introduced that theory that we had to Christian, it was in Florida to Christian and Jeff Kessler. And they sat on that for two years. And then they got with me whenever I got hired with them a little over a year ago, uh, they built it. Uh, I did not know this, but they built it and they were on their way to Florida when they built it for worlds last year. And they sent the design to me as a 3d image. And they said, this is what you were talking about. And I said, exactly what I was talking about. So we got it and started testing with, we got prototypes in and it was effing amazing. Now let me explain the theory right here. And I actually tore this bat up to actually show something to you. And I had to do weight distribution in the DDT. You'll see it right here. What we did was we put a weight in here, right? And then we have weight here. So I wanted to, I wanted to weigh these. I wanted to do like I do my weight distribution numbers and I wanted to put them on a scale. So what you have here, this is a 26 ounce. You have 11 ounces on the tip of this and you have 10.3 ounces on this. So the dual distribution is spot on. So you have weight here, you have weight, weight on the end cap, right? 11, 10, and that helps that barrel flex a lot better for you, right? And what we got in it was we got great barrel response when hitting middle or pulling one and getting into one in that power alley. So if you think about it in, in theory, like if you're an engineer, it would make more sense whenever you go out and get it, you know, and, and you hit it up, you know, hell, if you hit it down, you got great barrel response on this bat. And it actually helps create a better Magnus effect when you're hitting those balls far.